إذا جاءك المنافقون قالوا نشهد إنك لرسول الله والله يعلم إنك لرسوله والله يشهد إن المنافقين لكاذبون السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين Nabina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'ina wa ba'd Dear brothers and sisters in Islam Today I am going to present the details of first condition of bearing the witness that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Allah's messenger We have already listed the conditions required to bear this witness that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Allah's messenger The first condition among those conditions is Tasdiquhu fi ma akhbar that we should affirm that whatever Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam informed us was truth. So to affirm this condition, we should know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly mentioned in the beginning of Surah Al-Najm, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والنجم إذا هوى ما ضل صاحبكم وما غوى وما ينطق عن الهوى إن هو إلا وحي يوحى Meaning, by the star when it descends, your companion, that is Muhammad, has not strayed, nor has he made mistake. Nor does he speak from his own desires. It is not but a revelation revealed to him. These ayahs are clearly giving the sense that whatever Prophet Muhammad informed us was a result of a revelation. It was not anything which has come out from his own whims or desires it is the pro it is the revelation and the result of the revelation here we should note one more important point that if when we are affirming that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was true in whatever he informed us we should not believe that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was possessing the knowledge of unseen why because in surah al jinn Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says عَلِمُ الْغَيْبِ فَلَا يُظْهِرُ عَلَىٰ غَيْبِهِ أَحَدًا إِلَّا مَنْ اِرْتَضَىٰ مِنْ رَسُولِ Meaning, he is the knower of unseen and he does not disclose the knowledge of unseen to anyone except whom he has approved from among the messengers. So this is the important thing that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam informed us lot of things which are even out of our perception. Which, which are even out of the intellects of human beings but still we have to believe that whatever he has informed to us was nothing but pure truth to understand this condition better we need to have a recourse to the life of sahaba dealing with prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and we can trace such example in the incident of isra that is visit to jerusalem Baitul maqdis yes it happened in the life of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, that he was carried to Bayt al Maqdis and brought back to Mecca in a single night. And in the following day, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, informed this incident to the people of Mecca. People of Mecca, they got surprised with the news and most of them denied the truthfulness of this news. At the same time, they went to Abu Bakr and informed him that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is saying, that he traveled to Jerusalem in a night and came back the same night and they questioned him do you believe in this matter Abu Bakr replied is he saying this they said yes your companion Muhammad is saying this he said if he is saying this then the matter is nothing but truth so they got surprised again and they said, do you believe in such, a, in such a matter? He said, yes, I do believe in this matter. But more than this, I do believe that he can travel to the skies and come back during a night only. So this is how the belief of Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala an. And this is the meaning of affirming that whatever Prophet Muhammad sallallahu is saying truth. Because you see, after confirming that this is an information from Pro Prophet Muhammad 
Abu Bakr did not get reluctant in the matter and said it is nothing but truth. So yes, the same thing should be our situation. If we get a correct narration and proved narration, authenticated narration from Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, and at the same time, if our intellects are not agreeing to that particular narration, we should not go behind our intellect. We should leave our intellect be as apart and we should say that if it is the information from Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, it is nothing but truth. So this is how we should affirm the information of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. This is very much essential and required because our perception, our intellects are limited. So once it is checked and confirmed that the narration is true and the narration is right and authenticated, then we should not doubt in the details of such narration and we should believe in the truthfulness of Prophet Muhammad Then only we can say that yes, we are fulfilling the first condition of bearing the witness that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is messenger of Allah. Wa akhiru dawana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.